Hey YouTube, this is the first time I've personally ever had to do a video guide on something, so bear with me if um, you know there's some sort of guidelines that I'm not following. But essentially tonight I've had to reinstall Windows 7 on my PC because just a lot of shit was going wrong and it was just time to bite the bullet and start fresh. Anyway, um, as a lot of you that are specifically watching this video will know, um, there seems to be some sort of update issue with the latest um, AMD Catalyst Control Center drivers, or whatever they're called, even though I should know this because I've spent like the last two hours googling away trying to solve this problem. Um, now, just from reading forums before this, I know some people have managed to solve the problems by doing a bunch of things sort of like disabling power save options and uninstalling drivers which are kind of needed if you're going to be playing games so um, you know just to get out the way, that out of the way I'm not going to be treading on any of those footsteps because I've tried both those things and they didn't work for me and um, it seems on a simple level what had happened is when I started fresh and basically started installing the drivers again on my PC I already had my second monitor set up which as you can see over there is basically just my HDTV and it seems like um, on a simple level what had happened is um, the Catalyst Control Center for whatever reason um, had deemed my other monitor well, so my TV as like the main monitor and because of that all I was seeing on Windows 7 startup on my own screen was just a um, a black screen I'd hear the, uh, the Windows startup sound and then I'd get a black screen um, after getting frustrated with that after you know back and forth going into safe mode and changing loads of things um, one time when I'd pretty much just about given up um, on the Windows startup screen, I was just like moving my mouse around a lot and like bashing escape, just hope and pressing the Windows key and hoping something would pop up. Um, then I realized um, that my mouse icon, well, my mouse, my mouse cursor had showed up on the screen. Um, I started to just like randomly click around into like what I presumed was, well, what I could see was the middle of the screen to so just to try and uh, click on my um, my user profile. And then um, from there I entered my password, Windows loaded up, um, my screen was probably about this big and then it was just a black border around the rest. Um, and then basically I right clicked on the, the center of the desktop, clicked on control center, I realized that for whatever reason it didn't show up, so then I tried it again and again it, it seemed like it quickly loaded but nothing was showing up. And, um, I sort of got the impression that maybe um, my TV was being registered as a monitor even though it wasn't on at the time as far as I can remember. So um, I turned on my TV monitor, flicked it over to HDMI 2 and lo and behold that was considered my desktop. Like obviously you know, I had my start icon over on the other screen and um, the Catalyst Control Center had showed up on the other screen. And from there, I just basically went to you know the arranging desktops options, and made my proper PC monitor my primary, and then from there, um, things seem fine. Um, because, as like I said, I've only just literally tonight uh, reinstalled Windows 7. I can't say for sure if my games are running smooth, but obviously I'm on the most up-to-date drivers. I'm actually using the 15.8 beta. Um, I've not had to compromise and uninstall anything and I would say I'd test them um, doing a restart for you now even though I've already done one prior to this but obviously that would cut off the exploit video and it would be a bit of a pointless um, endeavour there so yeah I know there's probably um, quite a lot of options in terms of how you can solve this issue but I'm sure there's going to be a few people out there that will appreciate this video because you'll have um, just accidentally done the same thing I did which was basically um, presume your other monitor wasn't being recognized and you know that turned out to be the case for me I guess like obviously I can't speak 
for other people because everybody's got different setups and stuff but I guess if for some reason um, you're getting a black screen but you're hearing a startup sound you might possibly want to try connecting your PC monitor to your graphics card via um, HDMI or DVI basically whatever you're not doing or maybe try if you've got if you've previously had like more than one monitor set up just try using maybe a different um, cable to your graphics card that's all I can suggest really because um, I mean obviously I've not had to do that but I don't know I'm just thankful I've managed to solve my own issue and even though I don't normally do these kind of videos because I'm never usually in the position to be able to offer advice um, but basically forum because it's a relatively new problem this uh, this AMD, AMD graphics card bloody drivers update problem thing I figured I may as well do a video because after however <laughs> after however many hours I've spent um, googling and re reading through forums and playing around with goddamn windows settings and stuff it was just there uh, it was getting too much and uh, yeah just as I was pretty much about to rage quit and shove some on Netflix I managed to uh, solve my issue so yeah I'll upload this to YouTube hopefully I'll be able to tag it with enough words so that people do see it and you know if at least one person's helped by this video then I'm, it was totally worth it I'm just you know I'm already just thankful I've managed to sort out my own issue so yeah hopefully I've helped somebody if not um, best of luck and hopefully there'll be some new drivers out soon to help fix people that you know, unfortunately, still struggling with this issue, but yeah, have a great day or night or whatever, and get back to PC gaming or console gaming, whatever. And yeah, adios. Bye.